To what degree will you believe the word of the Lord from Colossians chapter 1, 12 to 14? Paul told the church at Colossae, We are to give thanks unto the Father, for he hath made us able to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Father has delivered us from the power of darkness, and he has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. In his son, we have redemption through his blood. We have the forgiveness of sins. So the question is, to what degree will we believe this? That will determine how much we give thanks, how much we will appreciate this revelation of what the Father has done through his Son. Do you believe that he has made you able to partake of the inheritance of the saints? And will you believe all of that is in the future? Or do you believe the prayer the model prayer that Jesus gave us in Matthew 6. Your will be done as it is in heaven, so let it be right here on the earth. You and I are to give thanks like he told the church at Colossae. We're giving thanks because you truly have, Father, made us able to partake, participate in the inheritance of the saints in light. And that is, as he said through Peter, he has given us everything for life and godliness. This is our inheritance, to be able to operate with all the wisdom that we need, all the resources that are required for us to accomplish his will for us before he comes to take us home. Father God, at great expense, has delivered us from the power of darkness to what degree will you believe this? Will you look at every situation and determine what is the enemy trying to convince you of? The enemy seeks to steal, kill, and destroy, and he wants to hide behind every whatever he can so that you won't recognize that it's him. And when Jesus healed the people in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, he often cast out devils that had caused sickness and disease to manifest in people's bodies. So to what degree will you receive what revelation he gave in Colossians 1, 12 to 14?